Welcome everyone. The first step to transfer files is we need to set up sync thing on the Steam Deck, then on the computer. So on the Steam Deck, you're going to press and hold the power button until you see the power menu. And then we're just going to select switch to desktop. In the desktop, we're going to click on the start menu here. And we need to find the discover app. If you don't see it's here, click on the search and then long press the X key to access the keyboard. Then just search up for discover and open this one up. We then need to click on the search again and we're going to long press the X key to access the keyboard. And we're going to search up for sync thing like this. And then we'll click on enter to do a search. And then we're going to hide the keyboard. And the one you want is the sync thing GTK. So you're just going to click on the install button here and wait for this to install. Once sync thing has installed, just go into the application launcher. And then you just want to long press X again, search up for the sync thing and you're going to open this one up and so we have this first run wizard so you quite literally just click on next a bunch of times until it lets you set up the app but you may see this here checking for available port and it's just hanging here so you're just going to click on quit don't worry the, the app's not going to corrupt and then you want to reload the sync thing again and now we have the sync thing app opened you're going to see the daemon doesn't appear to be running let's select always start the daemon automatically and then click on the start now we see this view right here just leave your steam deck like this and let's move to the computer on the computer you're going to head over to syncthing.net forward slash downloads this may not be in the description so just go to the link directly and scroll all the way down until you see the windows or the mac os and then click the download for your operating system once the download completes we need to open the zip file and then we're going to click on extract all and then extract and then we'll double click the sync thing like this and we can see the sync thing app right here and we can open it up if you see this just click on more info and then run anyway do note on mac the process is going to be slightly different and now we can see here this device folders and let's proceed and the next step is we're going to click on add remote device on the windows Sometimes your Steam Deck will automatically show up if you are on the same Wi-Fi and you can just click on it. Otherwise, we need to get the device ID. So moving to the Steam Deck in the sync thing, we're going to click on the settings and then we're going to click on show ID. And this is my ID. So you will need to transfer this ID to the Windows or Mac and I'm going to use Pastebin for that. So on the Steam Deck I opened up the Firefox browser, pasted into Pastebin, it's just a website. If you don't have Firefox you can get it from the same Discover store as you got the sync thing. And then I got the Pastebin URL, put it in the Windows and now we have the code right here with the ID and it's a lot simpler to do that way so I'm going to paste the ID in and you can set the name but uh, I'm not going to do that I'm just going to click on the save on the Steam Deck you're going to see unknown device and so you just want to accept okay so we'll just use the bottom one we're going to accept and it says device wants to connect let's also tap on add for this as well and then we'll just tap on save so on both the steam deck 
and the computer we've added each other. So from here what we're going to do is after we see connected we're going to click on the default folder and we're going to share this folder. To do this just click where it says unshared and then click on edit and then click on sharing and just select the Steam Deck here or just the device ID and then click on save. Uh, moving back to the Steam Deck before we can see the synced files you see that the desktop wants to share a folder so we're just going to click on add and we can see here send only or receive only don't tick either of these you have the rescan interval which is every five minutes you probably are just going to scan manually when you transfer files I'll show you what that is so let's just click on save and we also need to click on accept folder here so now we see the default folder is up to date and so we have this sync folder on our Windows and on our Steam Deck which will sync with each other. So to find this folder on the Windows we head over to this PC we'll click on the drive with the operating system and we're going to click our double click users we'll click our username and we should have a sync folder right here so anything you put in the sync folder will also be wirelessly transferred to your Steam Deck. So if you have, you know, let, let's, let's, let's transfer something. I don't have much, but uh, let's just transfer this file. And once this is placed in, the sync thing is going to sync. You may need to click on rescan in order for that sync to take place. And so you can see that there are updates in the folder. If you see unshared on the Steam Deck, not to worry because the computer is the one which is doing the sending and receiving. And so let's close out of all this clutter. And to view the files that were sent, you go to the file explorer. You click on the home. Double click into sync. And then you can see the file was synced right here. And so if we want to sync something from the Steam Deck, if we drag and drop this, and we copy this file here, you can see that the file from my Steam Deck was transferred to the Windows wirelessly. So just remember as a note, your computer is where you need to rescan once you transfer files. Otherwise, the update will happen only every five minutes and you drag and drop everything into the sync folder on the Windows or the Steam Deck and after that you can move the file somewhere else if you want to. With that being said, if you would like to help support the channel please do check the description. Bye bye.